I'm Guy Sengedard. I'm a full-time artist. I live in Winnipeg and work in Winnipeg. My name is Alfredo Coreas and I am a teacher in Winnipeg and I teach uh, art. My name is Austin Schmaltz. I'm an art teacher at Bismarck High School. Okay, my name is Paul Newt. I am a professional artist. My name is Brett Johnson. I actually teach in Minnesota when I'm not here at camp. We start with the basic program of small exercises, a little easier. Towards the end of the week, they become more complicated. They get tons of exercises that I give them that are from easy to hard, you know, so it uh, gives them a chance to learn different mediums at the same time and uh, a variety of different subject matter. They're immersed in this art from 8.30 in the morning until 8 o'clock at night, so they're working all day long. Teaching art, like in a, where I teach art, uh, kids only have about like 30 minutes or uh, they have about an hour sometimes. And by the time you are ready to work on, you probably will end up working about 20 minutes. And this is the greatest part about this camp. We work from 8 o'clock to 8 o'clock at night. And this place is amazing because of that. We do uh, work that we go to explore outside to do some nature. And I think that makes them to be in a more realistic context, not just inside of a classroom. The idea in here is to immerse the kid to explore different art mediums and try to see at the end of the day what medium they like the most. We explore about six or seven or even more mediums in one day. That will take you in at school probably a couple of months or something like that. If you're lucky, you can go to all of those mediums. So I kind of show them some um, tips and tricks for caricatures and that type of cartooning style. Um, so I show that, I make that available, but I, I let them also stay with their own styles. The goal is to just get them to put stories to the visuals and kind of sharpen their skills. You know, a lot of them make their comics at home and stuff, and again, I can see that in their work, that they already have stories developed and characters developed and things like that. They all want to be here. They're all excited to be here, and they all have talent and an enthusiasm overall. They want to be here and they want to get things done. They want to create. I am the drawing instructor. It's basically a black and white class, so we do um, charcoal, we do Conti crayon, India ink, graphite. We draw on pages of books, maps, music sheets. We kind of do a little bit of everything and just, I guess, you know, just have a good time exploring the, the media of drawing. We got all sorts of crazy stuff going on, the stick figures in back, uh, packing tape sculpture, and so it's not just building things, but it's using stuff they normally don't get in a classroom. If they want to do something really intense, they can take their time and focus on that one project for a while. If someone wants to do something a little smaller, they can do that too. But they just have a lot more freedom with how far they want to push an idea. Their art kits get them a few materials that if they don't get to using it here, they can bring it home with them as well. So they don't have to feel rushed like they have to use everything when they're at camp because when they go home, they can take the knowledge that they get here and apply that to either when they get to school they can use the stuff or just at home. At camp it's not a school setting. They're not worried about being graded on what they're doing. They can just try something. If it works, great. If not, try something different. And that's something I really like about camp is they can just make what they want to make and just let uh, those creative juices flow and you know hopefully um, come out with something great at the end of it too.